Hello. Well, this is my latest engine that I've been building. This one's taken me a bit longer than the others. I've been working on this now for about five months, on and off. I didn't plan it to take this long, but just working out what I needed to do, sourcing some of the parts I needed. It's been a bit more of a task than the others. I wanted to make an engine that looked more realistic this time, something more along the lines of one of the old steam pumping engines that you get in the, uh, the old sewage works. I want, wanted to go for something with three levels, three floors. I first, as usual with the, with the other ones, made the, the main cylinder first, the displacer cylinder first. Once I got that built, that then, did, that then set the scale for the rest of the engine. Spent a lot of time with this one, with just the, the cylinder sat on the base wood, staring at it, trying to work out how I was going to build it, what my design was going to be. Lots of drawings and working out some calculations. But uh, finally come up with a, an idea that I liked. Spent a lot of time on this one, making the engine run smooth, keeping everything nicely balanced. I've added weights all around the flywheel drilling it and putting little steel pegs in to make sure it was perfectly balanced. The beam and the displacer piston have all been balanced, everything's balanced there. I've got a uh, balsa wood piston in this one, displacer, which is wrapped in aluminium foil to make it a bit more heat resistant. And with the weight of that and the, the linkage I've made, my, the linkage on the front, I believe it's called a Watts linkage, I then needed to add weight at the back end to balance it all and I've actually worked that out that came to 70 grams. I've made this one with a speed regulator. It's got a little bit of a knock there, something I've got to work out, see what, see what needs to be done to cure that. But I've made this one with a speed regulator because although it can run at a, f a fair speed I like watching them running at the slower, more realistic speed, sort of thing you'd get in a real engine. So I've managed to make a regulator that by turning the handle, it pinches a, a pipe that comes through this box that I've made up. You've got aluminium piping coming in, taking the, the vacuum from the displacer up to the power cylinder, which is a, a car rear brake wheel cylinder, which has been modified. And inside here I've got a small section of rubber hose that as you wind this handle in, it pinch, I've got two little levers that pinch together and pinch the hose and close off the air through it. And that way I can wind the speed down. The slowest I think I've managed to get it running at the moment was 40 RPM. I was sitting there timing it, timing the beam movements against the stopwatch. If you go a little bit too far with this, you can pinch the hose so far that it stops the engine, which it nearly did then. I've used MDF for the floors and aluminium pipe for the pillars, made up out of wood, little base plinths of it, I think you would call them. Underneath here, the tops of these are actually out of a car engine, they're car valve stem oil seals. Put a bit of trim work around it, I wanted to make it a bit all night as well. So this is actually the, uh, the metal screening that you get on radiator covers for in your house. The rails are made out of car brake pipe, copper brake pipe, and the balls on the end are just ball bearings which I've soldered on just to give them the, a better look. I'll turn the engine round, might be able to see the other side. Not sure if that's in focus still. Close. As I say, I've run aluminium pipe out of the cylinder underneath this rail, this cover, which I've put on there to make it look like it's actually heat protection, stop people burning themselves on the pipe. As I say, and that goes in and up. I've had to make up my own linkage assembly in there to compensate for the short stroke on the power cylinder and the longer movement on the beam con connecting rod. I had to calculate the positions for the joints. That way I, 
lets the system run properly. A little tick there from the engine, but not too bad. That's a rear view, I don't know how well this is coming out. Might be a little bit dark. I'll just move the camera so you can have a closer look at some of it. The floor on this is from a model shop. It's just paper with a brickwork effect on it, which I've glued to the baseboard and then varnished over the top. The stairs are made out of aluminium plate which I've just cut the, the whip the stairs out, like the whip for the stairs, and then bent the alley plate over a piece of iron, pinched in a vice, kept turning it and bending it, and that gave me the stairs that come up. Got a double le level one there with a handrail that comes up to the top. This is the linkage I've made. It runs quite well, so I'm, actually I'm really pleased with the way it's come out. I may add a bit of pinstriping paintwork to the beam, as they have on real engines. But other than that, as I say, I'm, I'm very happy with it. That's the linkage in there that I've produced. It might be a bit awkward to see, I'm not sure. I'll cut out in the floor there for the the connecting rod. The cylinder is just made out of the usual, you've got cat food cans, fruit cans. The housing around the, the bottom, the heat box on this one, is actually the, uh, is off of a uh, car diesel fuel filter. It's the outer casing of a fuel filter. Just took the innards out and then cut that to well, the shape I needed. As I say to you, the gold tops underneath there I thought looked looked pretty close to what you'd really get. So I say they're just valve stem horses out of an engine, car engine, with some spare ones I had. Anyway, that's my engine. I like it. I'm very pleased with the way it runs and I'll sit there in the evening just a bit ticking away while I'm watching a film, etc. I'm thinking about my next next engine, what I might do with that one. May leave it a little while before making another one, I'm not sure. But as I say, I'm very pleased with the way this one's turned out. Thank you for looking at it, and may see you another day.